Hi there, this is Cross Product Examples, and uh, I just wanted to kind of hit on some really common places where you'll see cross, uh, like moments, and uh, basically give you just kind of a conceptual idea of how they're calculated. So, first of all, let's just go through the intuition on this uh, wrench and bolt, okay? If we have 70 pounds of force on the end of this wrench, and it's the wrench is 6 inches long, what's the torque that you're putting in to that nut? That's essentially what this question is asking. So, moment torque are essentially the same thing. Um, moment typically is referred to when a material is more bending. Like if you're bending like your ruler or something, whereas torque would be twisting, like you're twisting it along something's axes. So, um, but in this case, we're using the moment from the wrench to torque the bolt. So, I mean, you just have to kind of apply each term to their specific situations. So, you're torquing the bolt, but you're putting a moment on the wrench, so... Anyway, that's semantics. Uh, let's get to some math. Let's see, the moment at point O. Okay, so what we have is, first of all, let's don't forget, uh, not forget direction, okay? So you have negative 70 pounds uh, times, oh, let's just do 6 inches, okay? And what this will equal is negative 420 what I just like to call inch pounds. Some people like pound inches. I like inch pounds. You can also do this in feet. It's uh, they're the same thing. Uh, different parts of the world use different different values. Some, um, well, I should say just different fields use different values because not many parts of the world actually use this the English system. Anyway, um. What's good to do with the wrench is uh, my suggestion is always break it into vectors. And wait, before I go into that, I just wanted to point out, realize that this 70, I didn't need to break it down into, oh, this portion, this component. The force is applied at a perpendicular. If you were to look at this vector form right here this would be our r vector right essentially just the arm to where the force is applied right so i'm just going to call it r and then uh that's a vector don't forget it's a vector and then you have your force down well, now it's looking a lot more simple, huh? And that's because this is uh, essentially, well, I mean, they're perpendicular. I mean, they're 90 degrees from each other, right? So, I mean, you could essentially just multiply them together, which is what we did in the intuition, right? That's, that's how we knew what torque. It's force times the length of the arm. So, let's do it maybe our our more mathematical cross product technique okay so let's just break it down you have your r that's going to equal 0.5 i'm just going to keep it in feet 0.5 i well i wasn't going to but now i am and then you have your force that's negative 75 j okay um uh, 75 huh okay let's just change our force to 75 i like 75 better anyway So yeah, 75 pounds. There we are. What I want us to do is look at this technique. I, J, K. Okay, well, 0 0.500. 0. That is our R vector. 0.5 I plus 0j plus 0k. Break it down even further. Go into the next one. What's our f vector? Our f vector. 0, negative 75, 0. 
Now, let's do let's do the other technique where you you kind of break it apart. I I like the other one better. So that's M equals. Okay. Just focus on your eye. Cross out everything else, and you'll have essentially just zero I. Okay, so there's no contributing factor. Let's try J. So minus, because, you know, and that's going to zero as well. That'll be zero as well. So now you're sitting there going, okay, what's the point of this? K. Okay, there we are. Now we're getting some, somewhere here. You have negative 35. And that's it. Which turns out to be negative 35k. Now realize that this is a negative vector. But that actually says what direction it is. Because, remember, with your right hand rule, if this were the point of your axes, your z, your z axes, your x look like this, and your y look like this. So this direction would be positive. The opposite direction would show a negative vector, and it would go south. So, anyway, let's let's kind of just lay out this. Uh, I, I don't know. I drew this kind of picture framey thingy. I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know what it is. But um, the whole purpose of this is to kind of just give you exposure to multiple situations, and so you can learn how to kind of adapt vectors into multiple situations. So, not only, you know, whole wrenches, you know, now you have picture frames in your arsenal, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what's the moment of the point A? So let's find the moment of point A due to chains B and C, okay? Which are five pounds each, okay? So let me just get that across. B Magnitude of B and the magnitude of C equals 5 pounds, first off, right? What we want to do is, what's the magnitude of A due to B, okay? So A due to B, that's what the A, B stands for, okay? Well... We can do a couple different techniques here if you'd like, but I'm probably just going to stick with the cross product technique if you don't mind so we can get familiarity with it just in case it blows up into some intense topic then at least we can find it. So, what's the R relative A to B? Okay, let me just point that out to you. R, B, okay, this is actually just going to equal 8I, okay, because from A to B is a straight shot over, 8 inches. So what you'll find is that you have 8, 0, 0. Okay, so what about J? I bet you J. Well, J is not in that vector, so you don't have to worry about it. Well then, okay, let, let's just apply our, our force then. Maybe the force will be... Um, you know, the force of the chain. Now you have to remember that because it's the force of the chain. What is the moment that's being applied due to the chain? You have to ignore said 20 pounds because we're only talking about the chain. So let me just get this going a little bit quicker. B F. You have your B vector, which is going to be 5. B vector, which is going to equal 5. And sine 30 degrees, right? 30 degrees. Because you have your 30 degrees right here. Plus, and that will be your I. Plus 5 cosine 30 degrees. 
and that'll be your J vector, okay? So what that'll actually equal is um, 2.5 and 4.33. 4.33, okay? And zero. And when you work that all out, what you'll find is that you'll get zero i hat uh, minus, obviously, right? Zero j hat plus eight times four point three three k hat, which will equal thirty four point six four pound inch. Let me come back to this and I'll finish up with the last end part of this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.